y'all and welcome to the crazy sock lady youtube channel my name is Kay, and this is my channel where i share all about my making adventures today i have knitting and english paper piecing to share with you i may have started my quilt top and i am obsessed i am not very far along but i'm obsessed i can't wait to share it with you so today is August 30th. It is 10.29 a.m. I've been sitting down here with some coffee, of course, going through emails and all kinds of admin type things for this morning. And now, now it's time to share all of this. I've gotten everything out and I am surrounded by so many things to share with you. We've got a couple of finished objects some works in progress. I have a few things that arrived in the mail. One thing I purchased that I need to grab off the shelf over there <laughs> and a giveaway winner to announce and also a new giveaway for this episode. Before we dive in, first I want to remind y'all this should go up August 31st. So this should work out perfect if you watch it on August 31st anyways, that that is your last reminder that summer sock camp ends because I'm recording this on the 30th, but it should go up tomorrow. So summer sock camp is ending today as you're watching this. If you watch it the day it comes out, um, make sure you get your last entries in. If you have not yet, I will be drawing winners from the hashtag on Instagram as well as the Ravelry group for one last time. And I will announce those winners on the next episode. We do have a new make along starting. I talked about this over on Instagram and this is going to be our crazy spooky make along. Our first ever, I'm hoping that this will be something we can do in the coming years as well. So that's starting September 1st because I'm ready to dive in with some fall and Halloween yarns and I just can't wait. So I'm trying to clear my needles <laughs> from socks anyways. We'll talk about that in a minute and get ready to dive in with all those fall and Halloween yarns. So this knit along will run from September 1st to October 31st. It'll be two full months. It does not have to be socks. It does, the yarn does not have to be named Halloween. This is basically just any project that you feel inspired either with whether it's the yarn, um, anything like that that inspires you for fall or Halloween, then it will count. Whips are allowed. Knit or crochet. I'm trying to think through all the things to see if I'm forgetting anything, but all of the details are over on Instagram in a post that will be pinned to the top of my Instagram feed. And then I'll also, once summer sock camp is over, I'll put a highlight up with details um, that'll stay right there as well. There is also a Ravelry group for this and, or not a Ravelry group, but a thread within the Crazy Sock Lady Ravelry group. And that is already open. So also this is a participatory make along, meaning you do not have to finish anything. Just come join us, work with some of those fall Halloween yarns that have maybe been sitting in your stash. I know I have them sitting in mine, <laughs> that every year I'm like, I wanna work with this, I wanna work with this, and I never get to them. So this, this is the year that I'm gonna work with some of those that have been lingering. One in particular, I'll go ahead and show you this one. Move some stuff out of the way here. <laughs> oh gosh, I thought that something was going to come crashing down on top of me. I have blocking mats, okay, we're good. I thought, I thought for sure it was going to come crashing down. Okay, so one yarn that every year I think I want to work with, but for some reason I kind of save this and I, I just, it's so precious to me. So I got this yarn years and years ago from Amber of Yarn Junkie. She sent me the sweetest package. This was way back when I lived in North Carolina and I have just, I love the yarn. I love the color and it's just been so special to me. So this yarn is by Cat's Kettle, who no longer dies. So I apologize that this is not something you get anymore. And I think sometimes that's why I don't work with it as well. Because I know a lot of the times when I work with a yarn, people want to know where I got it, where can they get it. And sometimes if I know a yarn is not available, I'm like, oh, <laughs> I hate to work with it because people can't get it. But I need to get over that and use some of these yarns that maybe I've had for years and they are no longer available, but I love them and I want to work with them. 
this is one of those. So this is Cat's Kettle. That is what her tag looked like. She has not died in years and years and years. This is Sanderson Sisters. It is a sock set. It is so pretty. And Hocus Pocus is my favorite Halloween movie. So this year, I'm working with this. I can't decide if it's going to be a September 1st cast on or an October 1st cast on. I can't decide. I should probably just make it a September 1st cast on so it is at least cast on, right? And I don't like get distracted by other shiny things because we know that I will. But yes, this is getting worked up this year. I picked it out. I think this is actually one of the oldest skeins of yarn that I have in my stash. I know I probably have some that are older, but this is one of the oldest that I have in my stash. And it's just special to me for so many reasons. You can't get it anymore. Amber sent it to me. I love Hocus Pocus. So what's happening this year? I'm going to just toss that over there so that it doesn't get put back in the cabinet and I get distracted. It'll be there waiting on me. Okay, so that was a long-winded way to announce our new make-along that starts September 1st. So I hope that you guys are excited about that. So many people were so sad that Summer Sock Camp was ending. I, for one, am so sad about it as well because I feel like this year I enjoyed immensely. I cannot even tell you the joy that I got out of it. It just renewed like so much for me within the community and my knitting and it was just amazing. So I loved this year's summer sock camp and I'm sad to see it go as well. And so I thought let's just do another make along right off off the back end of summer sock camp. Let's just dive right in as soon as it's over. And this seemed perfect because I can make all the socks with all the Halloween yarn. That's what, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I have some ideas. I looked up there this morning. I see a yarn up there I think I'm going to do too. I don't think it's like a Halloween name, but if you can tie it into Halloween. So I'll just say right now too, this yarn I'm looking at up there is Zebra Yarns. I'm almost positive it's Zebra Yarns. And it reminds me, oh yes, because I think it's like a zebra is like the name of it. And you guys may remember that I said it reminded me of the Wicked Witch. <laughs> Um, it's black and white stripes with a red mini. So I am going to make my sister Cassie, who's obsessed with the Wizard of Oz, either this September or October, I'm going to make her socks for a Christmas present that are Wicked Witch socks is what I'm going to call them using the black and white for the leg and then the red for the heel and toe to make it look like ruby slippers kind of. That's what's happening. So yes, if you can tie it into like, it's a witch themed or like, however you can work that in there, you go for it. Um, tie it into the spooky make along. One more admin thing and then we're jumping in with the knitting, I promise. So our YouTube memberships here, if you are not already a member and you're interested in that, you can head over to the memberships tab. I do believe you have to do it in a web browser. I don't know that you can do it in the app. I did, I got an email this morning from YouTube saying, you will be able to do those kind of things in the app in two weeks, I think. It's, it's coming to the app for iOS anyways. Um, I have no clue if it's on anything else, but we have YouTube memberships here. There are two levels um, for the price of a cup of coffee a month. You can, if you're at the level two membership, get one extra video a week here on YouTube, usually on a Monday. And then we also have a private Facebook group just for members and you can join us over there. And we have had a make along for August going on for 30 minutes of making a day. And we are continuing that into September. So it's a great way to just work through maybe some languishing whips or even new works in progress Christmas gifts. So that's been really fun over there and everyone was excited to extend that into the month of September as well. So if you want another make along to join, you want some extra content, make sure you head over and check out the memberships. Okay, um, I'm done talking about all that. I don't think I did say though, that you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as the crazy sock lady. And I will have links right down below this video. If you just hit the more button under the video, it'll pop down a box and that'll have links to where you can find me links to anything that I talk about as far as shops, links to project pages for all the knitting, crocheting, anything like that that I show. It'll all be right down there for you. Okay, that, that's enough admin stuff. 
let's talk knitting. I hope you've got something to work on or, or something and something to drink. <laughs> There's a lot today, I feel like. I guess not really, though. It just seems like there is because I'm surrounded. All right, finished objects. I have two. I finished these socks for Eric. So these are out of mustache yarn in the yellow submarine colorway. And you'll notice I did an afterthought heel for these. I have not done an afterthought heel in so long and it just seemed perfect. I started to do a heel flap with these and it was gonna break the stripes up too much. And that normally does not bother me. So I don't know what I was, I don't know, but I just thought we're gonna do an afterthought heel. They are somewhat matching, not exact, but that doesn't bother me either. These are for my husband, Eric. Be a close up of these stripes here. This yarn is so pretty. The yarn I used for the heel is just a scrap yarn. I grabbed three different yarns and had Eric pick. I had like a, this, I think there was like a neon green because I thought, well, that would be kind of cool. He didn't go for that. <laughs> and I can't remember what the other color was that I had, but he picked the like charcoal gray black scrap. So I used that. After that heel, I do have a tutorial here on YouTube that you can find in the tutorial playlist. And I did 64 stitches, US 1, 2.25 millimeter. I don't remember how I knit these. Actually, it might have been a nine inch, so it would have been a US 0, 2 millimeter. I don't remember. Knit two purl two ribbing, 25 rounds, and then 60 rounds for the leg, I think. Very, very pleased with those. And my other one, I'm kind of sitting on, it's on my chair. <laughs> so I finished my anthology throw. It is not blocked. I debated on blocking it yesterday. I did weave in all the ends, but I don't really have a space big enough unless I wanna put it on my bed. Uh, I could put it on the floor out there, but Calvin, my cat loves yarn so much that I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> and I had it on the back of my chair yesterday and it was kind of chilly down here where I record. So I threw it over my legs and it was perfect. So I think this is where it's gonna live for now is just to be a throw over my lap kind of thing for this fall and winter. So this pattern is the Anthology Throw by Helen Stewart. It is so massive, y'all so big <laughs> and I started this last December December of 2022 using an advent calendar by Molly of a homespun house I used all of the minis but the last one I did not get to the last mini I followed the pattern exactly as written starting out I was changing colors when she said to and I know I am not the only one who had issues with this. I ended up, I would run out of yarn before she said to. It, when it, the shawl first started out, I was having a lot left over of the skeins. And then I started running out before she said to <laughs> change. So I ended up just using up the minis until they were gone from that point on. And that worked great. I am very, very pleased with this ends are all woven in it's ready to use it does the only reason like I don't feel like it needs to be any bigger and blocking it would for sure stretch it out and make it bigger I don't really feel like it needs it it does have like ruffly edges where it's not blocked but it's really not that bad and I'm not bothered at the moment so it's gonna live right back here on the back of my chair and if I feel like I want to block it then I will. <laughs> so that one, that one's done. I'm so happy that it's done. So that, finishing that, I had two other advent projects once I finished that from December of 2022. And I thought my plan was to use my 30 minutes of knitting, pick up the next advent project, work on it 30 minutes a day at least, and finish it and then go to the next one. Once I started pulling things out to see what I wanted to finish, 
You guys, I didn't, I remembered that I wasn't really that crazy about the projects I was working on last December. Um, the patterns were great, the yarn was great, but I just wasn't really motivated to finish them. And once I pulled them out, I got to thinking, I'm like, there's a reason these have not been touched. And yes, I do get distracted by shiny things quite often, you know, the new shiny patterns and new shiny yarns. But if I really love something, I don't let it sit for that long and not finish it. Um, scrappy blankets are different because they're long-term projects, but when it comes to something like that, I normally do not let things sit for that long. So I thought, okay, there's a reason. <laughs> These were not bringing me that much joy. Um, there's a reason they were the ones that got like left in the bags and not touched in almost a year. So I frogged, I frogged my yarn ink shawl. Um, it was not the yarn, that's not the name of the pattern. That was the Advent Calendar yarn ink. Love the yarn. Was not really like feeling like I really wanted to work on the shawl anymore. It was the adventurous wrap. It's a beautiful pattern, but I just thought, I really don't want to make this. So why am I going to force myself to? That's not fun. So I, I frogged that. I have the advent calendar back, all in the bag. The yarns are in the, the bags they came in, so I know what order they're in, in case I do want to add them to a project in the order they came in. And right now they're just going to sit. I'll talk about a pattern in a minute. I better make note of that so I don't forget to talk about it. Um, But they're just gonna sit for right now and just chill. And then I had a DK weight rainbow moon glow yarn co advent and I was making it into the bounce blanket by tin can knits and I just wasn't feeling like I wanted to work on it either. It was gorgeous. I was only I'll put a picture of that here. I may have a picture of the yarn ink that I have included as well but um I think I was only four days in and I was like, yeah, no, <laughs> no. And I think my hesitation with that was I, the year before last, I knit with Moonglow Yarn Co. Advent. I did a wallop cowl and it was the rainbow advent. So it was essentially the same advent, just a different weight yarn, different project. So I was kind of like knitting with the same exact yarn pretty much. And I just don't know. I was like, yeah, no, don't want to make this blanket either. So I ripped that out as well. I have a friend who wants that advent calendar. Um, so I am going, I have it all bagged up and ready to go and I'm going to give it to her to make, she's going to make the bounce blanket. Um, but yeah, everything's in there all ready for her. <laughs> and I'm going to happily pass that along to someone who will use it and it won't be just sitting lingering in my stash. So I frogged those. I also frogged the Madewell cardigan that I was working on. I just went through all the things, guys, and I was like, I'm not wanting to work on this. Not really crazy about that. Don't want to finish this. Done. Frogged. Out of here. And it felt so good. So, so good. So the Madewell cardigan I was using, I think it's Fuse Fiber Studio. The yarn's over there, but I can't see the label. Um, Shelter was the colorway. I now have four skeins of that. I am definitely going to make socks. I really want to make a pair of four myself because I uh, like absolutely love the yarn. I think Eric would like a pair out of them. So I may work on those at some point coming up. I would like to make the socks for Eric for Christmas out of that. So yeah, if you're not enjoying something, guys, don't work on it. Get rid of it. <laughs> get, it get it frogged. Work on what makes you happy. And speaking of, Laura um, of Penrose Knits, I will link her Instagram down below. The pattern will not, mm, no, it won't be out by the time this goes up because it comes out, I think, September 1st. She posted a reel. You need to go to her Instagram and watch it because the reel was amazing. A scrappy blanket, guys. I mean, it wouldn't have to be scrappy, but definitely use your scraps advent calendars so I was kind of thinking I would use the yarn ink advent calendar for this and I still may um, we'll just see but this is definitely something that's going to be getting cast on soon because it looks perfect I absolutely love it so that's kind of where I'm at 
with projects right now. I am down to, let me pull it up real quick if I can. I don't want to knock my camera right there. I'm going to tell you how many whips I have right now. Because I got rid of three. And I really can not even tell you how great and how freeing that felt. So right now I have two socks on the needles, my August Yarnable socks, a pair of scrappy socks, a prayer shawl, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven scrappy blankets. Because they are what brings me joy. Socks and scrappy blankets, guys. I do have a dishcloth going that I knit on the treadmill, but yeah. So many socks and scrappy blankets. And I've just decided that's what I'm here for. And that is what is making me happy. Okay, so works in progress. Let's talk about the scrappy blanket that I brought down to show. Since we're on the subject of scrappy blankets. Ooh. I forgot that I had this here to show you guys. So it's totally random, but one of the questions I get asked the most is what lipstick I wear. <laughs> and I always laugh because I am not a makeup person. Like I have not worn foundation and powder and all the things since I was probably 18 or 19. Like that's just not, not me. Like a little bit of mascara, good lipstick, I'm set. And this is my favorite. I have used this for years and years and years and years and years. And if they ever get rid of it, I do not know what I'm going to do. Um, it's nothing fancy. And I've tried a million other lipsticks and I always go back to this one. So this is Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick. I'm not sponsored. This is really just a question I get asked all the time on here and on Instagram. So that is what it looks like. It's not expensive at all. I think I pay like, three. I wanna say $3 and something at Walmart because I just ordered this. This is a new one um, off of Walmart. It is Soft Raspberry. So Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick Soft Raspberry. It's not like never going to come off, but it lasts and it doesn't get cakey. It's very smooth. It doesn't dry up and like it's great. So there you go. Those of you that have wondered, that is that is about it for makeup. That's all you'll see here. <laughs> okay, so the scrappy blanket that I'm working on. I have it in a bag from Bags by Awesome Granny. It is fall bag and I'm so excited. This is the Domino Star Stash, Bush, Stash Buster Afghan. It is a mouthful to say. It is by Anita Gran. And it is so much fun. So last time I showed it, it was just a circle. And now I've started adding off the little sections, little star points or whatever you would like to call them. So you're working off of the circular and adding those on. I've got four. So I'm halfway done with this section of adding these points. I think, yes, there's eight. Um, it's so fun. So I've just been grabbing the white that I'm using here is a nitpick stroll fingering, just the white colorway. Everything else is scraps out of this bin. It is just a bin from the container store and it lives over here. And then I have a couple of other things that have scraps in them around here, but yeah, that is where I'm pulling from at the moment. I just grab one out. I don't, I don't think about color placement or what'll look good. I just grab it and add it in. And it's been so fun. I just keep it here in my office. And if I'm sitting here waiting on something on the computer or I'm done working, but I'm not quite ready to get out of my chair yet, I just grab it and add a little point in. I have a cute little progress keeper on here that is a unicorn from the Littlest Charm. So cute. Oh, there we go. It's so cute. And I am following the pattern exactly for that one. It's fingering weight. Scrappy blanket. 
There are so many on the project pages for that pattern that are just works of art. They really thought about color placement and all of that. I did not. I love scrappies. The scrappier the better. So I'm just grabbing and, and adding. All right. Let's looking to see here. I did not bring my prayer shawl down, but I'll show it next time. I'm just kind of showing what I've really been focusing on. One of those things is my yarnable socks for August. This is in a bag by Midwest Stitches. I have one of these done. No, I didn't have this done last time. So one is done. This yarn is so pretty. This is Grow With The Flow from Yarnable, the August colorway. The second one is a good one. I am hoping to have this done. I have today and tomorrow. I'm gonna have to focus on it a little bit, but I'm hoping to have this done before September 1st so that I really can just dive in September 1st and go crazy with fall and Halloween yarns and projects. And I have a new cardigan I wanna cast on. So yeah, hoping I can get this done. The only other socks I have going right now are a pair of scrappy socks. I've worked on them just a tiny little bit. I didn't bring them down to show for that reason. Um, but I don't, I'm not trying to have those done by September 1st. Those can, can hang out for a while longer. My other knitting project, and then we'll talk English paper piecing, is another bag from Bags by Awesome Granny. This is my DK Weight Jelly Roll Blanket. I'm using Signature straight needles for these and I signature is in the process of closing but I feel like they posted they had straights and DPNs back in stock limited amounts so you might check worth a try um, but I'm not sure if that was these or not that size um, what am I using for this this is 3.75 the jelly roll pattern is a pattern by Kay Jones and I have a fingering weight when going and then fingering weight held double, which has given me a DK weight gauge. And I love it. It's a great pattern. Um, I have any modifications for either of the fingering or the DK weight because I have made modifications to both of them. Listed all on the Ravelry Project page. Notes on how I'm doing things differently and what I'm doing for the DK weight, etc stand up here so you can have a look at this blanket it is so squishy i need to today actually i'm going to weave in these ends all along the top on the back i'm weaving in the ends as i go i have a tutorial for how i do that on youtube so you can kind of see that where the colors change but i have added go down here to where my marker is starting with this gorgeous color here these that this and this were homespun house patreon minis from the last ones that I got and then this right here the rest of this strip was Heather handmaids handmaids I can't remember Heather handmade I think oh I have some of her yarn right here heathered handmaids that's what it's called. <laughs> it was the row one subscription for August, those minis. So it continues right here to that last one that I just finished this morning. It is so pretty and soft and squishy and I love it. So this will be put away until I get my row one minis for September. I already have the next uh, three Homespun House Patreon minis. I showed you those last time. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this out so that I can weave in the ends on the top and the bottom today while I'm sitting down here working. <laughs> okay, the last work in progress is my English paper piecing and I started my quilt top. I said that I would talk about it. So I will link the shop down below. I cannot remember the name of it off of the top of my head, but I will link the Etsy shop where Eric got my 
quilt kit. It is for grandmother's flower garden. I think I can never remember the name of that for some reason. And it is, I'll show you this here and try not to mess it up. There's the package that all the hexagons are in here. They are cut. They are laid in the order that you, she has them put together. And I don't want to mess that up. But here's the one that I have started. Look how pretty this is. I am obsessed with it. So I've, you know, attached these all around here and now I'm working on this border and then white will go around this, but I'm going to save that. I'm going to leave it and work on the next flower. But this one is so much fun. I can't handle how much I enjoy this. So I've had some people ask about English paper piecing and if I would do a tutorial on it and go more in depth about it. I am an extreme beginner at this, y'all. So there will be no tutorials in the foreseeable future. <laughs> I am just thoroughly enjoying it. Um, I don't I don't know that I ever see myself teaching how to do this, maybe one day way in the future, but it, there are so many tutorials on YouTube. Just search English paper piecing tutorials. I know Vullenvine has one, um, Vintage Sewing Box, Last Homely House. There are so many. So there, I will say I've had some people ask about the paper part of it. So there are, I do not have any outside of, here, let me open this real quick. So it's fabric hexagons that you, I'm glue basting. There are different ways that you can do it. I'm glue basting it with a glue, fabric glue pin. And again, the tutorials show all of this in detail. Woolen Vines is the first one I ever watched. So there is paper hexagons that are out of like a thicker paper and you lay this on the back of your fabric, glue the fabric down the edges. You can see that there because I've not taken any of this paper out and that helps this hold its shape so that you can sew it together. Then once like this center one here, I could go ahead and take out once it's surrounded and you've worked all sides of it, you can go ahead and take your paper out. Cause I've had some people ask, well, how in the world are you going to wash that? <laughs> the paper does not stay in. Eventually you take all the paper out and you just have this gorgeous hand stitched quilt top or whatever you are using the fabric for. This will be um, a quilt top. So I haven't taken any of my paper out yet. But yes, I'm so excited. And I'm loving this so much. I work on it usually down here because I have a light over here that is very bright. I need that to do this. I do have a neck lamp that if I'm upstairs, I'll use sometimes when I'm doing it as well. But this has kind of just been something that lives here for now. Um, and it's just so enjoyable to sit down. I'm hoping today to finish this off. We will see, but that's my hope for today. And then tomorrow start glue basting the next batch because I did the glue basting for all of this um here's the rest that I have to attach but yeah I glue basted everything I would need for this flower at once and then it was all ready to go for me to start hand stitching it together so glad I jumped in and did this thoroughly enjoying it I have this basket here it has all my tools and all my fabric, everything is right inside of here. I got this nifty little thing on Amazon. I will link it on my Amazon storefront. It holds your glue pen, your thread. There's a magnet there to hold your needle. It's been so nice to just have that sitting in here. Then I have another little basket that has the basted hexagons. This thing's great too. I need to link this too. This is, it threads your needle for you and it works very well. Yeah, holds my needles, my scissors, all that stuff. So yes, that's my English paper piecing. I couldn't not start the quilt top because again, we should work on what brings us joy. All right, mail and purchases. Let me grab the yarn that I forgot to grab. So last time I talked about wanting to do the Seasons cardigan, 
by Ozetta and I got the yarn for it. I printed out the pattern. It's over there. I'm not going to grab it. Um, but I think I'm going to do the oversized seasons cardigan. There's a regular and an oversized. I think I'm going to do the oversized because I just want like big and comfy cozy. Hopefully it's not insanely oversized, but I think it'll be good. Um, and I got the big twist. This is from Joann's big twist tweed. And I think the color is just white, right? Yes, white. But it is definitely more of like an off-white color. I'm starting this September 1st. <laughs> the plan anyways. I'm going full in with my fall knits here. And I'm going to start that September 1st. Other things that have arrived. I do have an order. I'm going to do a separate, I'm going to put some video in here of this because it's always so hard to get the camera to cooperate with tiny little things like this. I placed a fall and Halloween order with the littlest charm. It is so cute. I love all of these so much. That little witch is just the most precious little thing. And the little raccoon. I can't handle it. They're so cute. So hopefully you are watching that video <laughs> right there. And I may have also ordered some yarn. So the row one minis for August for this month were Heathered Handmaids and I loved them so much. And I think, again, I've said this many times, but Rowan is such a great way to try out different yarn dyers, discover different yarn dyers. You can see how their yarn works up, how it feels, how the colorways work up. And I couldn't resist. <laughs> so this one was one that was in the row one subscription and as soon as I saw it before I even worked it up I knew I was gonna have to have it and I ordered it. So this is Wildest Dreams. This is on her standard sock which is 7525 blend superwash merino and nylon. Just look at how good that is. It is so pretty. I love this. And then this one is Hello Fall. And I had to have it. <laughs> it is on her sustainable sock, which is an 80 20. It's 80% extra fine merino and 20% recycled nylon. Look at how pretty this one is, too. I feel like I want to cast this one on for the um, crazy, spooky make along. I might have to it's so good and I'm excited to work with this base it feels so nice so I'm really excited to work with that one I think the last thing this is it right yes uh the last thing is I did I couldn't resist resist three by the sea designs they're spooky soiree sock set with those two minis and then that oh it is their Sanibel, I might be mispronouncing that, base, 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon. So 20 grams each for the minis and then full skein of that. I want to start this too. <laughs> this is the issue with like the themed yarns when it comes to the seasons. So I want to work with them all. That's why I actually need to this year. I need to work with some... I'm not doing the mystery knit along, Stephen West mystery knit along. I've had a lot of people asking. I didn't do it last year and it felt nice. And then this year, I was busier with the shop last year. So I felt like I didn't really get to dive into the Halloween yarns. Since I don't have the shop this year, there is more time than there was last year. And in previous years, because I'm normally in October going into the mystery knit along and that takes up so much time. I'm excited this year to just really embrace the yarns of the season, to just keep everything slow like it has been, and to work on what brings me joy. And I feel like it's going to be a lot of fall and Halloween socks, scrappy blankets, and English paper piecing. And my, my cardigan, I suppose. There's that as well. But I hope you're here for all of it. Oh, Three by the Sea did send me... Let me go ahead and open this. This will be in their shop. Oh, we don't have 
the note um, in September. Keep an eye out. But it is a trick or treat progress keeper. Hold, oh, hold still. It's so cute. So this, they went ahead and sent me one of these with my order and it'll be in their shop in September. Okay, that's it for mail and things. So our giveaway for last episode was for this project bag and yarn. And I will put our winner up here on the screen. It is June Williams. So congratulations. If you would just get in contact with me at crazysockladypodcast at gmail.com, I will just need your shipping information and then I will get that sent out to you. And I do have a giveaway for this episode as well. So we have another one of our project bags from Midwest Stitches. This is the sock fabric, the zippered one and some yarn. So this colorway is September of 2022. And it is so pretty. And I thought it was fitting since we're going into September. So yeah, this will be our giveaway for this episode. I love being able to do those and give back. We still have a cabinet full over here that we are we are working through and we're just gonna keep going doing them. I love sharing that with y'all and being able to do that because you guys bring me so much joy just being here and supporting me and knitting along with me and enjoying all of my crazy. <laughs> so that's all of our giveaway stuff. So that kind of wraps up the knitting. Um, life stuff, reading, watching, we'll talk about that for just a minute. We did start watching. I did not write this down. Um, it's called The Ride. It is on Amazon Prime, I think. I'm not sure. Air Candle's turning the TV on and all that usually, so <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> but it's on Amazon. I know that. That's the app he goes into. Um, but it's called The Ride, and it is a reality show following PBR, which is professional bull riding their team's series. It's been interesting to see. It tells a little bit more about the bull riders and their life and shows their family. And some of it can be a little hard to watch if, you know, injuries and that type of thing. But I just find the guys that can get out there and do that. It's just so fascinating to me. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, we love that kind of stuff. So if you're into that kind of stuff, you would probably like the ride as well. We have, we haven't watched any more Justified, I don't think, since last time. So we probably have a couple of episodes, at least, well, probably just one that, because that was a week ago, uh, that we can watch. But so we haven't watched any more of that. We've still been watching Sister Wives on Sundays. This season just seems to be getting crazier and crazier. It really is kind of like a train wreck. Um, only murders in the building. We had started watching that forever ago and then something else came out and we got into it and didn't finish only murders in the building. And I told Eric, I said, why did we not finish that? Because we were loving it. So we've started watching only murders in the building. It is either a Netflix or a Hulu show, but it is so good. I love it. And when calls the heart, I've been watching that. Eric's He'll watch it, but he's not, a, you know, a huge fan of it. Same with Sister Wives. But When Calls the Heart is just such a sweet show. It's a Hallmark show um, about a, a school teacher in, the, in Canada. I don't even remember, like, the year that it's set in, but that lives, like, on the frontier. And I love it. It gives me Little House on the Prairie kind of vibes. <laughs> so that's a great show. Um... I want to say like a nice wholesome show. It's one that, I mean, my kids are older, but it's one that I've never had to worry about like the kids walking in the room when I'm watching or anything. And, and they could watch it with me. Why it used to years ago. I'm still reading the same books. I've not finished either of them. So nothing new to report there. And not really anything new to report with life stuff either, honestly. Which is, it's nice when it's like life has just been like calm. I'm probably jinxing myself, but calm, settling into routines of school back. That's about it. Things have been good. 
we went out to dinner last night and found a really good place that has chicken wings. So, I mean, we've been there before, but we've never had their wings. So if you're local, Sea Jacks has great chicken wings. Eric wanted somewhere that he wanted wings last night. It's our date night, usually on Tuesdays. And he's like, I really want chicken wings. And so we were naming off places we've had chicken wings at. And I'm like, you know, we haven't really found anywhere around here that it's like, their wings are the best. So he looked, he was just looking online and he said, Sea Jacks has wings. And we've been there so many times and never even noticed that they had chicken wings somehow. They were on their appetizer menu and they were really good. I should have gotten a picture. It was just buffalo um, wings, but yeah. So if you're local, they have really good chicken wings. <laughs> that's, that's the excitement that I have to report. I don't know. That's, that's about all I've got for y'all today. Yeah, I hope you enjoy the crazy around here because I feel like I've just been thoroughly enjoying my making. And I hope that comes across, but I feel like I've been a little crazy with it. I've been crazily enjoying my making. I think it's the shift in the seasons starting to happen. Today it really feels like fall and I keep looking out the window over there and you guys, there's like a little section of a tree that's turning colors. Is it a dead branch or is it fall? I don't know, <laughs> but it's making me happy. And I cleaned off the patio this morning and there were leaves that had fallen. It was great, it was spectacular. <laughs> Uh, remind me that I've said this when all of the mature trees drop their leaves and I'm like, I'm over the leaves by the, by the end of fall. So remind me of this spectacular moment of sweeping leaves off the patio because I'll be done with them at some point. Okay. All right. I'm done. I will see you guys next week. Don't forget to, I didn't even say, oh my gosh, you guys, the giveaway. You should know by now. You just have to comment down below. It's open worldwide. The crazy here today y'all comment down below that'll enter you for the giveaway and i will draw the winner next episode all right until next time happy making bye y'all <laughs>